The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Kjotve's warriors. Do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. We may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Drengir! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nukfal from Kurtves. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Bulkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Steerbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Ips are coming! Hail, Ravenclad! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harald of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harald's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. It's a shame, Great King, that you came all this way to offer aid we do not need. I must strongly disagree, Eivor. This is a gift from the gods. That may come with a price. Worry not. The balance has been paid. This victory shall be yours to save up. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatbe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. 
Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kurtwey and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjodve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. You missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtwe at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. Is this what you want? Chatve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtwe should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. But the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd Horson! Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang here against the Oathbreaker. I will make you beg as your father begged Wolf Kiss. Squeal as your mother squealed.
Rise, Eivor. And awaken. Odin. What do you want of me? You have won your prize, wolf kissed. The glory of my death. All for this? The coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war born kissed. The harvest of three dead generations. All their names are known. It all means nothing. No. My clan will not be forgotten! I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> Are forfeit. Come forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. The coward Gorm flees. His father dies twice today. Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped and fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ryavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish.
Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Evil! You are cursed shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I'll give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask. Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina, but I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Back out! You lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? But send him to hell, as I did his father. 
Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? 
Among people who hate us? Shot this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. I say we take Jodve's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Jodve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lifts. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar yeah, yeah. established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! What of Valhalla! Hey! 
there she is. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. But the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming. They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease, sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Time work, I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd. To get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade? We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. 
peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. 
Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Uh, ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. Tell me about what you do here. We're fishermen, my granddad and me, and we can help with anything you need. Bring us fish you find out there, and we'll pay you for them. But if I'm being honest, we can't do a thing until we have a place to work. If you've got time, we'd love it if you could build something. Can you remind me what you do here? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. What is it you do here again? If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. You need to build some barracks. Otherwise, these raiders are going to get soft, and we can't have that. I must take my leave. So long. Can you remind me what you do here? I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Haitham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Beggar is done, Tarpen. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. 
to warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. What is it you do here again? If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. Ah, this is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. Part of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes. And I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. Tell me about Grantebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grantebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. <laughs>